Okay, the next filter, the glow filter, it is not very complex as well, but it's one of the uses most most photographer used. I noticed this, and I look on some images or workflow what other photographers done. They from magic with the kids photography or some other ones. They like to add this glowing effect, glowing effect to specific areas. Mostly you look on a bright areas and you want to create kind of this dreamy look. So what done with the in this you um, this it's nice when you use it with combination of other ones. I do separate them like sharpness and shifting all this stuff color so you can open in from Photoshop apply this filter to this and blending or masking inside the Photoshop in the areas you want to affect. So we can create actually take all of them and create one very complex filter inside the filter forge. But from my experience, I've found many times you want to create two specific areas with the masking tool and other things. And if I want sharpen in one area, I want mask in other ones. You could put a pa past some masking areas in filter forge seven now, so you can do this. However, for the capability with your early versions and for the simplicity, I just decide to split them on different filters. So right here is our glow filter and you can see if you have an image, you will apply a glow effect and you know, it's add and create this beautiful dreamy look. So in some areas, contrast highlights. So if we look on the controls on the settings, you notice we have just age preservation. So I preserve the edges. They will also have an intensity for our edge. And we have our glowing opacity. You can see how it will add glowing to those effects. Okay, let's go ahead and open this filter and editor and we'll look how it's actually work. So overall right here is our image when it's coming and we have two options. One for the edge preservation, preservation we have our um, high pass and a high pass is working the way it's detecting the contrast in a luminosity mode between dark and light. So and you can see it's kind of intensify them and we set a radius to the three. So it's kind of medium in many cases just for the sharpness. You maybe want to add just a radius one radius three will provide us a little bit more effect and it's work for most photos that is 1000 pixels and higher will work just well in this case contrast. Again, it's a preset and you can modify this, but contrast give it us this effect on this edge. And you can see right here, we can kind of blend a little bit more or put it more in higher. And in some cases, you may want to access contrast to this value if you need it. But because we will using other blend modes, we not necessarily need to worry too much about accessing. So if we just preset those values and leave it like this, it's work fine just uh, without any adjustments. Next, we have a build in and it's part of a components. If you look right here, we have a sharpness inside and this is part of this component It's sharpness. It's allowed us to create increase some of the sharpness uh, with a blend and uh, edge detections mode. And again, I set to radius to radius 20. So I want just a little bit apply more of the shadows. Next, what we do, we take this blend and we'll add this edge preservation. If you remember this, we kind of start blending in. So we increasing some of those sharpness that we created with uh, our high pass and we're creating with the um, sharpness with amount dreaming by the high pass. And now we kind of apply it and blend with our mode. Again, this is a soft light, so it won't have this intensive type because soft light will a little bit softer contrast curve mode how it will apply to this. It's one have a very dramatic effect, but it does give it better um, differential between highlights and darker areas. Okay, next what we have here, we have it also output to our blurs and notice right here we have a two different blur. So I have one blur, which is eight pixels, quite a bit wide. And second is only two pixels to just a little bit blurry. We also have it on higher ones, which is will be our major bloom effect around. We also modify some brightness and contrast. So I want to add, you can see right here, we want to add a little bit those glowing effect to this. So the next we look, let's look right here. The one is going to the blend. 
and this is blend which take our edge soft lights what we look and this is blend will blend with a softer so overall this is more the soft light again which is kind of applied and what it does with a soft light with a blend and a sharp edge as a background is give it reduce some of those details and it was right here before you can see how to reduce some details on the background in other areas and it's provide with a more effect on a contrast based in, like glowing so darker and brighter okay let's go next to right here and you can notice we also okay desaturating and combining and the reason why to do this because anytime when you're using overlay soft light hard light any mode um, as a side effect because they are affecting not just luminosity they are affecting also the color your saturations is increasing so if we we'll can check this mode look on saturations here and our original you can see saturations on a it's a little bit higher so this is all what does it just slightly slightly remove the saturation so bring a little bit less saturated a little bit more to original image it's all the just compensation in this case okay next we have our mode <laughs> and for this we will use it screen blend mode and a screen work this way if you have it absolutely black it won't affect anything and if from zero black you're going up to, to 256 256 it's a lightest it so will increase so we'll take this image and right here with the dark this is one effect anything but as we going to the light like right in this area with the screen it will have it most effect so and that's what we do with the screen right here we take this and we applying the in a brighter area from our blur and make them even brighter around so it's creating this extra glowing effect so now from our skin smoothing and counting of glowing effect we're going to blend which is add additional this glowing overlay in the screen mode and our slider allowed us opacity of this global glowing effect and it's going to final result okay so if we look on this image you can see what we have right here we have it kind of with edge preserving less glowing right here if we look our glow it's very low we can bring glow way high okay and we can reduce our edge if we need it overall if we're going back we probably go like this to our original kind of image and right here you can see we can blood intensity go like capacity so we can create this dreamy look again i noticed these techniques and it's what i try to simulate how many photographers and other people are using to create this with them maybe you see kids in other areas where they like to or a wedding or some more dreamy glowing effect so this is actually what kind of work this way again and you can play a little bit more around with this filter see how it's work adjusting um, one thing maybe you, you want to say apply to all image just to the areas but creating and preserving with mask you can after doing photoshop mask them again and remember anytime when you like some your preset just go ahead click save and it save your preset so next time when you work you just can go inside just click easy on preset and go forward from that point